The Forgotten Thirteenth Month, Uncovering the Ancient Roots of Our Calendar. For most of us, the concept of a 12-month calendar is so deeply ingrained that it seems like an immutable fact of life. We plan our years around it, mark our birthdays by it, and even structure our financial systems accordingly. However, what if I told you that this 12-month cycle is a relatively recent convention, and that our ancestors once followed a markedly different timekeeping system? Brace yourselves, for you are about to have your calendar-centric worldview shaken to its core. The Origins of the 13-Month Calendar Numerous ancient civilizations, from the Babylonians to the Egyptians, adhered to a calendar comprised of 13 lunar months. This system was rooted in the natural cycles of the moon, with each month beginning at the new moon and lasting approximately 28 days. One of the earliest recorded instances of a 13-month calendar comes from the ancient Mesopotamian city of Babylon, dating back to the 7th century BCE. The Babylonians recognized 13 lunar months, each with its own distinct name and associated rituals. Their year began with the first crescent moon after the vernal equinox, aligning with the onset of spring, a time of renewal and fertility. This 13-month tradition was later adopted by the ancient Egyptians, who named their months after various deities and agricultural cycles. The Egyptian calendar consisted of 12 months of 30 days each, followed by a 13th intercalendary month of 5 or 6 days, designed to harmonize the lunar and solar cycles. The Roman reshuffle. As the Roman Empire rose to prominence, it inherited the Julian calendar, named after Julius Caesar, which retained vestiges of the 13-month system. However, in an effort to align the calendar more closely with the solar year, the Romans ultimately condensed the year into 12 months, with the addition of a leap day every four years. This transition was not without controversy, as it disrupted long-standing cultural traditions and religious observances tied to the 13-month cycle. Nevertheless, the 12-month Julian calendar persisted, and its descendant, the Gregorian calendar, remains the predominant civil calendar in use today. The New Year's Shift Another lesser-known fact about our calendar's history is that the New Year was not always celebrated on January 1st. In fact, many ancient cultures, including the Romans, marked the start of the New Year in the spring, often around the vernal equinox in late March or early April. This spring-centric New Year tradition can be traced back to the agricultural roots of these societies, where the arrival of spring signaled the beginning of the planting season and the renewal of life after the dormancy of winter. The adoption of January 1 as the official start of the New Year is a relatively modern convention, introduced in the 16th century by Pope Gregory XIII as part of the Gregorian calendar reform. This shift was primarily motivated by the desire to align the calendar with the perceived date of Christ's birth, as well as to establish a more consistent system for civil and religious observances. The Enduring Legacy While our contemporary calendars have largely abandoned the 13-month system and the spring-centric New Year, echoes of these ancient traditions persist in various cultural practices and linguistic remnants. For instance, the term, harvest moon, refers to the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox, hearkening back to the agricultural significance of lunar cycles. Similarly, the phrase, once in a blue moon, alludes to the rare occurrence of a 13th full moon within a single year, a celestial event that would have held special significance in the 13-month calendars of old. Moreover, several languages, such as Russian and Hindi, still retain linguistic vestiges of the 13-month calendar, with distinct names for each of the 13 lunar months. Conclusion. Embracing the cyclical nature of time. As we delve into the forgotten annals of our history, we are reminded of the inherent cyclical nature of time and the intricate ways in which our ancestors sought to harmonize their lives with the rhythms of the cosmos. While the 12-month calendar and January 1st New Year have become deeply entrenched in our modern consciousness, Understanding the origins and evolution of these systems can foster a greater appreciation for the rich tapestry of human ingenuity and cultural diversity. So, the next time you find yourself marking the passage of another year, take a moment to reflect on the ancient wisdom and traditions that have shaped our timekeeping practices. Embrace the cyclical nature of time, and find solace in the knowledge that, 
just as the seasons ebb and flow, our understanding of the cosmos continues to evolve, forever expanding the boundaries of our collective knowledge. After all, what could be more uplifting than recognizing our place within the grand tapestry of human ingenuity and our enduring quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe? Ank, Aja, Senib, Life, Strength, Health. Learn, like and subscribe. Copyright 2024 W. Kenneth Money All Rights Reserved. Mart's Feather of Truth is a registered trademark of Project Maya Publishing, Chicago, Illinois.